Good afternoon all, welcome to Brotherhood of Steel. My name's Andreas and I want to start off this vlog by just saying a big thank you. We've had some wonderful feedback through the starting up of our channel and I just wanted to say a really big thanks to everyone that's that sent in the comments or spoken to us. Really appreciate it, thank you. It, it means the world to us and I hope we can continue to provide content that's interesting. So today I got some nice news for you. I've won a competition. I never win competitions, yay! <laughs> and it's something I'm really looking forward to showing you. So, less with the waffle, because me and Matt like to talk a lot and I apologize for that, but you get us talking about reenactment and stuff and we just don't know when to stop. I apologize. But anyway, let's let's jump in. I've got it right here. Uh, actually, I've got my second World War knife to open it up with. This is actually an original one. And I got a nice big box to open. Well, this is really done up well. Right. Oh, it's got some weight on it. Can you guess what it is yet? Oh, this is gonna be oily. Check this out. How cool is that? So armor, always, always brand new stuff, always comes wrapped in all this plastic because it's got, it's been oiled up to protect the metal, which is good because it means you don't buy rusty armor. The downside is it, if you can see how sticky that is, it always, always comes gunked up. So it's probably some sort of uh, met special metal oil or gun oil. Let me just quickly clean this up. Oh, I'm so excited. This thing's got some weight on it. Okay. Just keep this wrapping down to protect the table. There you go. What do you think of that beast? I entered the competition with reenactment supplies. And it was just one of those simple things you see on Facebook, like, share, everything like that. And I got the message through that I'd won. So, so chuffed a bit. Check out this great helm. Or oh, is it a sugar loaf? I think it's a sugar loaf. But this is absolutely awesome. It's got proper, proper weight to it. Uh, I believe this is 16 gauge steel. It looks like it's uh, two mil thick. Um, got some heft. The inside is nicely pre-padded. Wonder if it'll fit on my uh, my noggin though. But yeah, so big big thank you to to reenactment supplies for for picking me. Oh, this is going to be A's, right? It fits. Actually, it's it's a little bit big. Actually, that's good. I can put some padding inside. Just hold it up slightly. What do you think? Is that my good side, or is that my good side? Ugh. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Absolutely awesome to play with that. But this one is from Marshall Historical. As I said for, before on the, uh, the review that I did of the arm, uh, the German arm armor, I have bought some stuff before from reenactment supplies that was uh, imported in uh, by Marshall Historical. And I do like it. I do like them. They're, they're quite good quality. Uh, they are inexpensive. And for the type of combat that I do, yes, they do get dented up. There's no doubt about that, 
but I don't need to go to the expense of having custom made armor that's all specially hardened and everything like that. I just I just don't need it. So mild or spring steel is is absolutely fine for what I do. You know what? Part of the fun is having getting you know getting bashed up by your mates, sitting around the fire in the evening with a you know glass of meat, well mug of mead. And talking about the uh, you, the war wounds that you've got on your armor and the scratches and the dents, I've actually got one piece of armor that uh, it's got a big dent in it. I could have could have straightened it out. Mm, absolutely, it would have been actually very easy. But I left it in there because it was just a reminder of a fantastic battle that I had with a friend up in Scotland. So thanks for the scars, Alan. Really enjoyed that fight with you once again. I want to thank Reenactment Supplies for this absolutely amazing, amazing gift in this helmet. It looks stunning and I can't wait to get fighting in it. Um, I wonder what it's going to look like when I've got all, all my other armour on. It makes me feel like almost maybe doing some crusade stuff, maybe. Mm, we'll have to see. But yeah, big thank you. and. For you, uh, for you guys watching, thank you once again for tuning in. Um, there's a new video gone up uh, earlier today actually about our trip to the Cambridge Living History Fair. So I hope you enjoy that and uh, let us know what you want to see and stuff like that. I know some of you have replied on Facebook to a question I've put out there. Matt and I have viewed them and we love some of the comments. We really do. Uh, apart from Andy's. Andy, you know that you're an ex-para, you know that there is instability there. Why, why encourage me? Because you also know that I'm unstable as well. Why encourage me? This is the guy that I'm going milsiming with as well, people. So hopefully the videos will be able to be shown to under 18s. Fingers crossed. So thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you again soon.